Welcome back. So first thing Monday morning, Britt was in to um, weld up or at least tack into place um, these different um, bits of tubing and also the flat plate that I had uh, been cutting and trimming last week uh, for the engine mount. So here you can see he's just uh, using the TIG there and just tacking the flat plate into, into uh, place there. And we've already done the uh, tubes on this side. So it didn't take him very long to do it and I was watching carefully how he was doing tacking and he actually gave me a little bit of a tutorial afterwards so I kind of have a better idea of how to practice uh, tacking with the TIG. It's, I mean it's completely different than tacking with the MIG. Um, much more um, precision and, and uh, much finer tacks that you do compared to using the MIG. Anyway, so uh, he basically got all those uh, tacked into place and uh, we took the engine mount off the stand there and he's um, going to take it with him or taking it with him so uh, he can go and work on that in his own time at his shop and um, get all the finished welding done on those uh, pieces. So here it is with all the pieces all tacked into place as you can see there's the mount for the left side uh, with the flat plates there and the tubes and over there on the right side. So Britt's taken that with him now and he's uh, told us that he probably have it back to us by the end of the week which would be amazing. Um, so we can get to you know moving forward further uh, with the engine getting the engine all sorted out so that's uh, another project sort of in the works right now and next on the agenda is creating a makeshift oven so Jeff picked up a bunch of these um, metal studs that are normally used sort of fr for framing um, offices and sometimes houses uh, just nice and lightweight and easy to work with so uh, I was tasked with cutting them to length so I started out uh, trying with the shears here and I figured that was going to take a little while so quickly decided it was time to bring out the big guns and uh, as you can see I marked everything ready to cut and brought out the circular saw, chop saw and it uh, made quick work of everything, <laughs> got it cut in no time. And here's the insulation board we're going to be using so it has foil, um, tin foil on one side and then obviously sort of fiberglass bat on the other side. Um, and it's used mainly for air conditioning ducts, but it'll be perfect for what we're doing. So the idea is here that we create these frames, and so we'll be cr creating four walls and a roof, and then um, the floor part will just be basically laying out the insulation, and then we're going to be using a kerosene heater to, to uh, heat up the oven there. And meanwhile, here's Zach. He's laying up the first part of the lower section of the dash. So this is the center stack. And this is the part that will have the Garmin uh, GTN 750 installed into it. And it's a pretty simple layup. Basically just uh, two heavy layers of, of carbon and then one medium layer. And uh, no core or anything like that. So it didn't take him very long uh, to lay that up. And then uh, obviously your peel ply and breather fabric and all that stuff. And bag and, and all vacuum. So that one hopefully will be out tomorrow and we can have a look at that. And here are the two molds for those... Uh, braces or brackets that make up the gear um, mounting uh, locations so Jeff's been cutting the little FR4 hard points for those and those are getting uh, close to being able to lay up and back to our oven so I got all the walls all screwed together and uh, so they're basically laid out and now waiting to have the insulation board put on them uh, but in the meantime we needed to um, sort of rip uh, some flat sort of um, plywood um, in order to use it kind of like as a board to hold the um, insulation in place which you'll see here in a second so anyway it's our oven is going to be about 20 feet long about uh, 8 feet wide and about 6 feet high so there you can see there's one with the plywood on there and basically screwed on around the edges so just so the screws don't pull through the insulation and here's uh, Roberto and Chris were in this afternoon so we basically handed the rest of this project to them and they'll probably have most of that done uh, this evening which is kind of cool so it didn't take us long to throw together the walls for the oven and the, the heater and there's some circulation fans that are on order those will be coming in soon so it won't be long we'll be able to bake that uh, main spa and lastly uh, here's the um, stuff that came in for our landing gear switch this is from uh, Infinity Aerospace so that's a locking um, up and down lever and, and I tried to do it with a single hand there but you can't do it <laughs> you need to, it's kind of two hands one to pull it out and the other one to sort of flick it down Anyway, so that's uh, just another thing that's waiting for installation later on. That's our update for the first half of this week, and thanks again for watching.